Well, welcome back to the Undervalued Investor YouTube channel, where today we're exploring Archer Aviation. This is not an electric vehicle maker. No, it is an electric aircraft maker that is solving short-term flights for urban areas, similar to going to New York. You get stuck in the middle of that traffic. Well, there's a helicopter mid-New York that can take you to the airport, saving you a bunch of time and effort. But this is electric-based, and it is cheaper and has better economy, trading up 18% just in the last five days. We're going to break down Archer Aviation, this $1.7 billion market cap company. If that is a conversation you'd appreciate, as always, consider hitting that like button. Now, in 2023, around October, Archer achieves a key flight test program milestone as Midnight takes flight. This is the project um, that they are currently working on. The milestone builds on four years of flight testing, which began in 2019, including two years of full-scale flight testing of Archer's maker aircraft. Now, Midnight Flight uh, basically enveloped is on track to rapidly advance the hover to full wing borne flight over the coming months, helping pave the way to begin for credit testing with the FAA next year. So it can do vertical takeoff um, and then basically fly similar to a plane slash helicopter right now. Basically, Archer is manufacturing a safe, sustainable, low noise, all electric vehicle to take off and landing uh, aircraft with the goal of being first to market in 2025. So this company is at a pivotal phase of its growth. Basically, Basically, the performance is pretty intriguing with a range of up to basically 100 miles optimized for 20 to 50 mile rapid back to back trips with minimal charge time with speed up to 150 miles an hour with payload, basically getting up to 1000 uh, pounds uh, plus the four, you know, pilot plus four passengers. And the advantages are safety, this will be certified at levels similar to today's commercial airliners noise is 100 times quieter than a helicopter and the cost is approximately one third the cost to manufacture and operate than a traditional helicopter making this super intriguing and comparable to ride sharing with cars, the average trip in a car is about 20 25 miles. The average speed is around, again, 25 miles an hour. The cost, $1.50 per mile. The average time is about an hour. And then the trips per day sit at around 10, right? With the days uh, basically worked 365 days a year. Total revenue is about 136,900. Incomparable to Archer, the same 25 miles can be done at an average speed of 150 miles an hour at a cost of $3.30 per seat mile with the average time at 12 minutes, which is dramatically cutting that down. Um, insanely, the cost of time there. The trips per day could be up to 25. The day's work can be similar, you know, 365 days a year, generating $2.4 million. Dramatic difference between the efficiencies of these two ways of operating in the urban areas. So we can see how this could uh, dramatically, I mean, even in Toronto, where we're from, if you're in Canada, Toronto, I mean, to take a, a small helicopter from downtown Toronto to say the airport would probably be a, a really efficient, quick way of doing so in this fashion, which is definitely intriguing. Now, the company is sitting in a healthy place from a balance sheet standpoint, $539 million in assets against $175 million in total liabilities, currently sitting in a pretty good place with that $461 million in cash. They can definitely front their total liabilities as it stands today. Uh, the company is working at a loss still. Keep in mind, this is only as of the nine-month ending uh, September. September, their loss for the nine month was around 348 million. So they've got enough capital to get them through to 2025 when they probably start getting into scale uh, and, you know, really taking the company um, into that new pivotal phase of um, operation. But Archer received basically part of 145 certifications from the Federal Aviation Administration. Basically, they announced the, the, the basically validates Archer's close working relationship with the FAA and commitment to stringent safety and operational standards. With the 145 cert, uh, certification allows Archer to operate at a repair and maintenance station. And this milestone demonstrates Archer's ongoing collaboration with the FFA as the company continues making progress toward its plan to commercialization in 2025. Fascinating company to deep dive into and one that we'll probably continue to follow. So consider subscribing for those updates, but we will pass the question off to you. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below.